On the east side, vice presidential candidate Governor Tim Walls is set to speak at Palo Verde High School. Yep, KGO 9's Craig Smith is there right now to give us a first-hand look at what he's seeing. Hi, Craig. Hey, hi, this is, a, we're just waiting for Tim Walls to show up at this point. Uh, things have run a, a little bit later than we were expected. A couple of introductory speakers, uh, County Recorder Gabrielle Caceres Kelly, and uh, also CD6, can, the CD6 candidate Kirsten Engel have, have also talked. But just take a look at the, uh, the crowd around here. We're at Palo Verde High School in the gym here. Pretty big, pretty active crowd. They spent a lot of time doing some dancing earlier than this. And they're waiting and they're fired up to hear from Tim Walls. Now, this particular day gives you an idea of just where Arizona stands in the world of presidential politics right now. It is such an active state, such an important swing state that we've got a visit from Tim Walls, the uh, Democratic vice presidential candidate. Earlier today, J.D. Vance, Republican candidate, and we are expecting in other parts of Arizona visits from Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. So this is a very key swing state. Now, the effort today, the message today is get out now, vote early now, and once you've taken care of your vote, go button up other votes for your chosen candidate. So that's the message that they're trying to do. And uh, yes, you may be able to see there on the stage, it says Arizona votes early, and that's the message they're very much trying to convey. So right now we're waiting for Tim Waltz to arrive. The music just went down a little bit. We may see him in a minute or two, but for right now, we're going to just leave you with that and just wait for Tim Walls to come, and we'll bring you more on this coming up at 6. Reporting live at Palo Verde High School, Craig Smith, KGUN 9. All right, Craig, thank you so much. Well, two months after visiting the Cochise County border, Ohio, Ohio Senator and former President Trump's VP candidate, J.D. Vance, rallied supporters today in Tucson. Yeah, KGUN 9's Ryan Fish was at Tucson Speedway on the southeast side as early voting officially gets underway here in Arizona. VP candidate J.D. Vance making another trip to Southern Arizona, speaking here at Tucson Speedway in front of about 400 supporters here saying he and former President Donald Trump are the candidates of change this election. Don't let her run away from a record. It is Kamala Harris's fault that this country is not doing as well as it should. Vance went after Harris, saying she is to blame for rising costs, everything from housing to groceries, and that she's too weak on border security. That's been a common battle cry for Republicans. Their new message this election, encouraging voters to vote early. I don't like election season. I like election day. But we are where we are, my friends. We've got election season, and if the Democrats are taking advantage of it, we have got to do the exact same thing. Vance's trip to Tucson comes the same day early ballots are mailed out across Arizona. Voters at this rally are backing the Republican ticket's policies, and Vance is a person. One of us. He's just low-key, average person. The fact that he even said something against Trump way back when, but then has learned and seen he's a true I call him a leader. And former President Trump expected to appear for a rally in Prescott this upcoming weekend. In Tucson, on the southeast side, Ryan Fish, KGA 9. Well, there are some important dates to know between today and Election Day. Yeah, October 25th, last day to request a ballot. November 1st is the last day for early in-person voting. And then, of course, November 5th is election day and coming up later tonight the u.s senate debate between ruben gallego and carrie lake that begins at six o'clock and will air on our sister station arizona 58 you can also watch the debate live on kega9.com all right